G'day YouTube. Thought I'd do a video today on lighting. I sort of inadvertently did a lighting test with a few seedlings I've got going, and after showing a few people the results, I uh, thought a few people, someone might find it interesting. So thought I'd have a talk about it. Um, as you can see, I've got quite a bit of supplemental lighting in here, um, to the under the benches, my seedling shelves at the back there. Uh, the left hand side of my greenhouse is only natural light, uh, mostly because there's no room to put any lights. Um, as you can see, I do get quite a bit of sun in here. It does get quite shaded down the bottom, so humidifier going off again. Um, but yeah, so I was looking at, you know, these are just some uh, pure ventricosa seedlings I made recently. I might actually take here off the tripod. Um, focus. Yeah, so I made a batch of these Metricosa seedlings and a few things in flower last year, so I thought I would uh, make some nice easy plants. Uh, this one sits on the sh shaded side and only gets the, uh, the natural light sort of diffused by the greenhouse. There's quite a few plants sitting up above it that sort of shade them a bit. Uh, and the next one, so I, I moved a few of these around the greenhouse just to see what sort of growth rates would do better where. Uh, this one here is just my seeding shelves. They're just cheap shop lights. As you can see there, there's a, a slight difference. That one is a little bit bigger. Yeah, it, just some cheap shop lights. I do have a lot of cuttings and seedlings under there. Um, I will say that is also a heat mat. I, sh I should add there will always be some variation in, um, in seed growing plants anyway. Uh, sort of it doesn't doesn't necessarily be it won't necessarily be a conditional thing uh, accessible to food some and some plants will just grow quicker but these were sort of standouts from the conditions yeah so so plant number three was sitting on my sales bench here uh, which gets quite a lot of natural light see the sun coming in through there this greenhouse runs uh, north to south uh, so m more so from now in the middle of the day all through the afternoon gets quite a lot of direct sun uh, this is quite a lot of sun on there and also supplemental lighting from this spider farmer I'm, I'm not a this definitely isn't a paid video. I bought all the lights, bought all my equipment myself. Uh, so it's just an opinion on what I found in my conditions. And then the fourth plant is this one here, which I threw in with my uh, Helioforma down there, just to see quite how much light these Venture Cosa could take. If you see there, there's a substantial difference working from right to left. The big one is probably showing signs of a little bit of light stress. You can see the ye more yellow in the leaves rather than the green, but a severe jump in size. Uh, so that it probably does get a little bit of sunlight, but is a, uh, a Mars Hydro, and it's the TS-1000, and that that is set to 100%. I do have two more that I run over my Highland section, and these, these seed trays down here. Um, I chose them because they're dimmable. Uh, I think the, the other two are running at 50%, I think the the actual wattage is about 150 watts, but you might have to check that 
on me so they're running at 75 watts each whereas the spider farmers up the top are 33 watts each you see there's three of them there uh, depending how things go I might put a fourth one down there but that's just my that's my orchid section and some uh, variegated monstera cuttings uh, in there but yeah so you can see everyone I see a lot of people talking about um, you know oh, why isn't my why isn't my uh, Nepenthes picturing and I think enough light is the number one number one issue now I've I've personally thrown some plants now I might spin you around I've thrown some plants in in my house I've put them in window sills uh, bathroom in the kitchen just scattering me around to see how they go and what I found mostly interesting was they all dropped pictures fairly quickly as in put new pictures out and looked quite happy for a while it wasn't till about six months inside that the lack of light really set in on them they all stopped picturing the green the so the leaves uh, went a much darker green and became more fragile for lack of a better word um, whereas I find plants growing in the greenhouse under more intense light definitely uh, build a thicker stronger leaf and yeah I think you, you also you do need the humidity for the stronger light too though uh, I was chatting to someone recently who's a very good grower here in Sydney and he was that saying if you if your humidity is too low you'll burn the plants very quickly and I have definitely seen that where I've I've dropped plants just on the other side of that greenhouse wall outside uh, you know, everything well, mostly in here there's no no light damage at all um, on anything you know, it's my big truncata perfiata uh, Vegelii, Maxima Lolii, Peltata, yeah, Peltata platykyla. Uh, so yeah, there's no light damage caused there. But the other side of the wall, low humidity, and the plants are absolutely fried. So I, I will, probably wouldn't dropping a plant for, directly from low light low humidity and putting a thousand watt grow light over it you'll you'll definitely fry your plants that way but for me these these are the spot spider farmer sf 300 so they're a 300 watt the actual usage is actually 33 watt uh, gives me more than enough supplementary light uh, you can see there, I've re reorganised this a bit recently, some seedlings and younger plants. Nice Vichy Hamada there. I've redone this as a display bench that will, you know, in another year or so, everything should grow out and fill this out nicely. And I've, I've started hanging a few plants that were on there. Nice Vichy Northiana Vichy all my Vichy I live up here. I actually find the Vichy I definitely take huge amounts of light, or can take huge amounts of light. Uh, there's a little bit of light burning on there. That's my uh, my BE 3734, which has exploded in the last year, really. Uh, that's a basal growth on it. More in there, but the things still won't flower for me. Uh, my Vichy I am on the other side. You can see it, uh, the old leaves are starting to cook a little bit. Nice little basil picture with some winter colouring. 
I wonder if this is ready to show you yet. That, that there is its second, second flower. It is a male. I have made some hybrids with it recently. Um, I haven't, har haven't harvested any seeds from it yet, so we'll see how that works out. But hopefully, I've got some spe spectacular stuff out of that. You see, the, f the fog is going off uh, a lot today. It's super dry outside. It's probably only 30 or 40 percent humidity and really windy. Uh, got the fans here helping circulate everything. But yeah, on the, and I, I will understand people not wanting to spend. Yeah, I think the spider farmers were a hundred dollars each, and the Mars hydros were around the two hundred dollar mark, give or take. I can understand not wanting to spend that, um, particularly if you got, if you're only just getting started, you've got easier, easier to care for, cheap plants, you know, something like this ventricosa. It's not needed, it will give you better results, but the other end of the spectrum is over my seed, you know, that's all my seeds up there. Seedlings, cuttings, you know, some stuff that needs to be potted out soon. These are just cheap LED shop lights. Uh, I've actually had these for years and years and grown I've grown all my indoor plants from the last place under there and they they do a reasonable job but I personally feel that I will I will change those there's three lights in those shelves I will swap them out to something a bit better quality uh, in the near future I've actually considered trying to fit a I might have to move some stuff of those plants are going out in the spring but I'm going to try and get a, a 1200 wide shelf to squeeze in there uh, which will just give me a bit more room and then I'll upgrade to a, a better light whether it's the spider farmer I think the Mars Hydro might be a bit much for very young seedlings uh, though being dimmable is one reason I've I've got a few of these because I can choose uh, I could I can dial them right down or work them back up so a dimmer wall light I could start at low on the seedlings and as they grow uh, push more light for them but I'll yeah I'll see what I decide to do there I figure well, I've got you here do a little bit of a look through the greenhouse you know, a few things are fading it's a feed show from the bow lowlands being low land in the middle of winter, it's not the happiest. It's the VGI K cross M from Exotica. It's just shaping up like a fantastic plant. Uh, another VGI, Northiana VGI. Small one there. Seed grown VGI. It's just my big Diorana back there. And it's the, the orchid section here. There's actually a few things coming into bloom. I won't touch on orchid care much. These are, this is one of the few orchids I've ever managed to get to re-bloom for me. Uh, but on this side, as I said, without supplementary light, you will get some great pictures still. This is a predator from EP. This is a, uh, Early I ventricosa. This is actually, I cut this off when I took some cuttings recently. I just sort of left it there to see how long it lasts. I had one last in a uh, terrarium a while ago for ages. It actually lived through the move, which was interesting. Uh, Lolio vichii, a little spider up in there. I do get a lot of small spiders in the greenhouse here can't quite make out the hairs there but these pictures just last forever yeah some pings in there and my uh, 
So that's Peltata Edwardsiana. Unfortunately, Maximum Aristolacoides uh, dropped a pitcher on the growth point, which made it abort, and thankfully it's bouncing back now. Uh, Peltata Jacqueline is down here now. Oh, interesting, I seem to have lost the tag for that. I don't know. Yeah, here's, here's the correct way around. Uh, Peltata is also down here. Yeah, I think that about wraps it up for today. Uh, if you have any more questions on lighting, uh, I'll be happy to try and help. I haven't done any real tests on... Well, I did use just a, a free app on uh, to check the Lux. I think I've got 20,000 down there on the Mars Hydros and 40,000 there over the Helis, which does have them colouring starting to colour up nicely. Unfortunately that one got dropped recently so it's a bit beaten up. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoy this and if you do hit the like and subscribe button and as always if you've any questions feel free to hit me up either here or Instagram is probably the easiest and I'll see what I can do with answering them. Cheers.